Hey guys, welcome back to another free bird game. This one is called A Bird Story. Uh, obviously, this is by the same people who made uh, To the Moon, which I recently played. You can check that out on my channel. Awesome game, awesome experience. And this is, I think, this is credited as a Minnesota to that game. It happens in the same universe. Uh, and it's meant to be a bridge between To the Moon and its direct sequel called Finding Paradise, which I'm going to play next to this one. Mm, what exactly does that mean, though? I'm not sure, but I'm not expecting any real connection between this and To the Moon itself. Maybe we'll know exactly where this is placed in the overall scheme of things after we play Finding Paradise. Finding Paradise, but for now though, I'm just expecting another quality Freebird story, and I can already tell the soundtrack is as good as ever. So let's. Uh, this is kind of cute. This is uh, sometimes when the game chooses languages, and the, the, when it comes to English, there's this conundrum. What do you use the American flag? Do you use the British flag? Uh, sometimes I, as uh, some game studios, straight up use the Canadian flag just to. Take the choice out of their hands. This is kind of nice. Uh, let's see. Just, just out of curiosity, I'm gonna play this in English just to see uh, what other languages there are. So there are quite a few of them to choose from, which is always good. Uh, let's let's just start. So once again, this game is built on the RPG Maker engine. Something's uh, important about that bonsai, I think. So that's a very colorful bed. Kid has a pretty big bedroom. Well, there's certainly no bunny to f around the moon this time. By the way, this is something I should probably uh, get out of the get it out of the way first. Uh, since this is a kind of a follow-up game to to the moon, and this is a follow-up playthrough of the uh, of my to the moon playthrough, if and when I see some connections to to the moon, I'm gonna point it out. So I may inadvertently spoil the plot of to the moon for you if you don't know it already, and. That's that would be really unfortunate. So what I really advise you to do, what I really advise you to do, if you if you don't know the story of To the Moon, is to actually buy that game and play through it. It's like three to four hours, really short one, and it's really good story. You definitely should experience it for yourself. And failing that, for uh, well, the next best thing would be to check that out on my channel. And in which case, I 
really appreciate the support. But hey, I don't really expect any story connections to To The Moon. Nevertheless, if there is any, I'm gonna point it out. And even if there isn't, I'm still might reference, um, still might refer it uh, from time to time. Okay, the kid is moonwalking. Uh, shutting down those lights. Yes, we're shutting down the stage right now. We're shutting down. We're the clock is turning backwards. No problem. Everything is normal. Oh, it's uh, our paper plane, which is going backwards. Of course it is. There's a shadowy bird on our head. I wonder what that means. Okay, the plane just went into the kid. I'm maybe interpreting the whole situation a little too literally. And there's me. I'm just gonna go back into myself. Well, I see nobody else has a face. I must be special. He's imagining the squirrels. Or is he hearing the squirrels? Hey! What are you doing? Oh. Oh. We got a sweet school. Now what the hell is the teacher teaching us anyway? The root of 1,764 is a cat. Oh, uh, what's going on? We're not actually allowed to leave. Hmm. What excuse me, Miss Faceless? If you want me out of the classroom, at least let me go off on my own adventures. Actually, I'm kind of interested in what she's teaching. Can I go back? I want to learn about the cat. Well, the... Education system has abandoned me. I have no choice but to. Oh shit. Oh, I'm just gonna ignore her now. Yeah, we grown up. We make our own decisions. So, we're just gonna casually skip school. Are these trees growing on what locker rooms? What the hell? Can I play with the slide? Oh my, I made that guy disappear. I made a few guys reappear. You know what? Am I reading somebody's memory right now? Is this somebody's death wish right now? That Because this looks awfully like the scenario in the machine from To The Moon, where you're in somebody's past and looking at it. Uh, okay, I'm lonely. Nobody's playing with me. This is a two-player game. Hey. 
Hey, can I play with you? Nope. Everybody's. Le oh, now you're reappearing. It's, it's, it's not that you don't want to play this game. You just don't want to play with me. Got it. No problem. No big deal. And there I am, a little kid wandering along. Oh shit! There's way more of the world than I thought. Well, apparently I'm the only one from the land of the living. Am I right to assume that this is my apartment? Oh, this is the lobby. Are oh, you waiting for the elevator? Uh, well, and let me just call it for you because it always opens whenever I touch the button. It's magic. So, uh. Yeah, I don't trust you. I don't trust the metaphysical beings. Nope. Oh, crap. This does feel like a memory thing. I don't know, maybe... Maybe uh, Eva and Nail, they are trying to... Look through another person's memory, like... Maybe the subject, maybe this kid is, like, really old, dying in the future, and he's looking at his early memories. Trying to fulfill some kind of wish. I have no idea. This is like pure guessing right now. Ah, oh, there's no one at home either. Oh, that's so lonely. Life is sad. Let me guess, dinner's in the fridge. How about the radio? How about TV? Watch some TV? No. Well, dude, this is your parents' bedroom. Nothing we can do here. As usual, there's not a whole lot of in interruptibility. Except turning on and off lights. Oh, wait, what? Aw, oh, he's having fun. I made my family disappear. I don't really need to do homework, do I? I mean, I didn't even finish class. I wouldn't know what homework is. Oh, dinner. Yeah, we, we gotta eat shit. I mean, not literally, no, we, we just gotta eat some stuff. Damn. What's going on? Sounds like we're watching some cartoon. See, it's not so bad. Oh, you actually do need to study? Okay, I'll indulge you.
yet this is how people study. Oops. That is called falling on your nose. It is a typical symptom of、uh, homework being too boring. Mommy and Daddy home now. Wait. Oh, that's a nice throw. Are we here like all night? Wait, what time is it? Oh, it really is like seven a.m. Damn. And mom and dad are gone again. Could at least put him to bed. Just saying. I mean, he still slept all night. But it's, it's not gonna be the same. I want. I wonder if do have I ever done that? Have I ever like spend the night sleeping off my desk instead of in my bed? Have I ever done that as a kid? I can't really remember that ever happening. So we. I guess we put the little. Towel here. Oh, the backpack. Duh. Of course, we can't just go to. We can't just go to school like this. We gotta carry a lot of the stuff. Oh, and、uh, we need our half-completed homework. Oh, we didn't complete anything, did we? Whatever. Something to do with the fridge? Breakfast? Da 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 da. Okay. Oh my God! I have a. Is that a, a life bar? And it's raining, so we're taking the umbrella. Okay, good to go. No. That's my boy. Oops! Almost died. Oh, I almost met a tragic early end of my promising life. How did I get to the classroom just like this? Hey, you, bitch! What's up?、Um, did you like the paper plane? That was that wasn't that wasn't actually me, but you know what? I'll take the credit because it was a fucking cool thing to do. Okay, nothing. She got nothing to say to me. And then we slept all day. <laughs> Did that just happen? See, I told you, sleeping on the desk is not 
That's not, it just doesn't do it. You're, you're really you're gonna be really tired the next day, no matter how long that nap was. Oh, we're just gonna hop in the puddles. Of course. Of course that's what you do. I I can relate to this so hard. Like, even as an adult I don't I I don't really pull out my umbrella if I can help it. I always like raining. I mean, I, I gotta use the umbrella if I'm like on my way to, to work or to any any place where I need to be presentable. But other than that, I just oh, okay. There's some. This is probably dreamland. Oh no, we 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 gotta use a Pokemon to. Did we fall on? Did we fall on our face again, kid? You, you gotta work on your balance. Okay, I, I'm assuming this little birdie is a little injured. Ah, uh, it's he's injured in his right wing. He's or her, I don't know. Oh, we're getting that bird. Oh, he's afraid of me. Why would he be afraid of me? I just saved him. I'm just gonna assume it's a him. I have no way to tell, obviously. Uh, is there any... Is there any other way to approach him? Oh no! Alrighty, that just happened. Oh! I thought he wasn't gonna find out about this until he's at home. He's really happy about it. He's got. You know, who, well, what kid wouldn't be happy about this? Sometimes birds come uh, near my window in the morning. And I, I haven't yet successfully invited one in, into the house yet. And I really want to, it's just the, the ledge is really narrow and me trying to open the window in any way would absolutely drive them, uh, scare them away. So the story is definitely told in a very linear way. Just uh, there's no there's no uh, consistent map here. We're just the road is just going to lead us to wherever the next portion of memory is taking us. I'm assuming. I'm assuming. Where the hell is? Where where's the vet? He's not at home. I don't think so. So I don't know. We're just gonna take him home for the for now. I Thank you. 
No pets? Oh, are you kidding me? C could you just stay put for a while? Oh. Well, that's mighty suspicious. I mean, we. He's in a backpack. He's. <laughs> we don't really need to be that careful. Uh, nothing to see here. Oh, now I'm the weird one. Oh, that's just great. Oops. Why, why do we gotta act so suspicious? I guess nobody's home. I mean, what's gonna happen if there were somebody home? You're just gonna escape from home now? Uh, it's not letting me go that way. So maybe we should have to go to the bathroom first? Oh, I, I gotta lock the door, I think. Right? No? Come on, game. What do you want me to do? There's something. Oh, it's just to turn on the light. Okay. Still nothing to do here. I guess I'm gonna play with him in my own room. Not here even. On the balcony. There's no way he's gonna just fly away. Oh, he needs water? Um, that's good thinking. Let's get him some water. Uh, now he needs he needs food. Wow. And he's shy. He's just waiting for me to Okay, I guess I gotta share my dinner then. It's no big deal. Well I hope the K 
kid's parents didn't just leave him a piece of toast. Oh, he's gonna be in that tree. I love the uh, amount of expression they have with the limited engine. Gotcha! Oh, I'm... Yeah, breaking apart! These, these are the body of Christ! We're gonna share it, okay? Oh, he wants to fly. Then he's not gonna. Not for some time. If he tries to fly now, this game is gonna be retitled A Very Short Bird Story. And he did eat, eat the toast. It's just uh, some scraps left. And no, you can't fly with just your left wing. Maybe you can do what How to Train Your Dragon did, like give him a artificial wing that we can control while we're flying alongside him. Well, he's a little too tiny to do that, like not in the toothless way, the toothless being the dragon and How to Train Your Dragon. Mm, we'd have to. Oh, you know what? Maybe this is an Animorph story, because Animorph. Oh shit. We're actually trying this. No! Oh my god, this is. It's actually working, really? Did, did the kid just jump out of his window with an umbrella and actually survived? Okay, this. Wow, it is a sweet scene in the game. This channel, in no way, shape, or form, encourages kids or adults to actually test this theory in, in practice, okay? Do not jump out of your window with any kind of umbrella or even a parachute because it's not going to be high enough. And also, if you pick up an injured bird on your way from school, don't try to ride it. But I was gonna say, maybe this is an Animorph story where the kid actually turns into a big bird and gets to fly with the, with the little bird. And this is just one of the stories that Johnny and Joey used to enjoy. I mean, Joey used to enjoy and 
maybe Johnny did eventually because to fuck it, this is getting sidetracked. Oh, you want this? Well, why don't you get it yourself? This is your job, you're paid to get the yellow bottle. Now she wants uh, the water thing. And now she wants a, to uh, a roll of paper, a roll of toilet paper. There we go. I guess that's bandit. That's not actually toilet paper. I'm stupid. Okay, I guess she's saying, well, mission accomplished. The bird is gonna heal. Get the fuck out of my lawn. Oh, she's saying the bird has to stay here. Do you want to come with me? She's fetching... Yeah, the bird is gone. No freaking way she's, he's gonna stay here. And we didn't pay! Adults are totally evil. That's so cute. What the hell is, is this class? Like, what is the subject that we're learning here? It doesn't seem to be math. Oh, we are just so beyond the classroom right now. Are you gonna play fetch with a bird? Okay, not judging. And it's working. Wait. Oh, it's a montage. I'm loving this. Even this scenery is kind of a little montage of its own. The radiation is gonna be bad for you. Oh, you wanna watch too. It'll be awkward if you're watching the cooking channel. That's probably gonna be traumatic. He likes to tread on pool. Oh yeah. Screw that umbrella.
What is going on? Oh no, you don't. I'm not gonna be losing to, to a bird. Not at my own game. Uh-uh. I'd call that a draw. It's okay. Sneezing is not a COVID symptom, by the way. Uh, that works. Oh, show and tell. So elegant. You better give me an A for all the shit you... I'm, I, okay, it's probably not the same teacher. It's not fair to yell at her. Ice cream? Hell yeah, ice cream. Well, you're, you're probably gonna die if you eat this, but here we go. That's cold. Really? Wait. Don't kill me! Oh, we finally found- Have you finally found a playmate for this? Well, we're not gonna be able to. Oh, we have become the center of attention now. Whoa. Oh, we're going to the moon. See, Johnny, this is how you do it. Getting more toast. Are you sure you only want toast? Because in there is something else you might want. Okay, we're just getting toast. Fine. Are we gonna pay though? Oh, we are gonna pay. We are a good boy. It's a beautiful story about an innocent little boy who befriends a bird but actually does not break away from all social rules. Where are we going? Where's the birdie? Matt. Has the beast returned? Oh, that seems to be a different party.
I think that's a reminder that we gotta let him go sometime. I don't think we're reading him a bedtime story. Yep, that's the only real purpose of this book is to make paper plays out of it. sound too dumb but what are we doing okay I get it we, we already tore through half the book like we're making something that's really white oh we went through the whole book Oh, we're making a big play. Have you noticed something different about this game, different from To the Moon? It has no dialogue. None at all. This story so far and I'm assuming the whole game is entirely told through animation and given the limited animation capacity of the engine that's really something I can show you the world Go faster. You want to go faster? That's pretty good painting back there. Oh, we're f f we're trying to find his his home, and this this is not it. I guess we're looking for his pack, and there's one down, four to go. For some reason, we know there are exactly five packs that we need to check out. Um, where are the rest? I guess we just go to the next map. Yeah, we're traveling around the world and this is more tropical. I don't this is he does not look like a tropical bird. I mean it's nice that we're traveling all around the world looking for them, but uh, we could probably be able to narrow it down if we, if we apply some basic biological knowledge here.
oh, we're going to the desert now. I'm getting, the, I'm starting to get the feeling that we just want to travel. Like that's what it's actually about, which is like very admirable still. There we go. I guess not. Well, we still have one more chance. But hey, what what a trip, right? This book is totally worth it. Is he saying thank you? This game is so sweet. Oh no. Is that the vet? How did she track me down all the way here? Did, did we really just not pay her or something? I mean, that's possible. Where would I? Where would the kid get the money to pay for that? Incidentally, yeah, how how much do you think it costs to to heal a bird like that from the kind of wing injury? I I really have no clue. You could tell me it's for free free of charge or a thousand dollar. I really don't know. Hey there. Oh, doesn't have time for me now. Okay. Where is everyone? Oh, shit. What is going on? What is this Scooby Doo sequence? I'm dead. You'll never take me alive!
What is happening? Oh, we just made them mad. This is so creepy now. So we're definitely in the machine, right? We saw something similar in the Minnesota of uh, well, the previous Minnesota for To the Moon, like the direct follow-ups. So this is something that can happen in the machine, like a soul residue or something. I don't know, maybe the matrix is just glitching out. So they did come to talk to him. There's that whole. There's gotta be that conversation that if if you love the bird, you gotta do what's best for him. Conversation. We're taking the umbrella at this time. Gotta be responsible now. It's not just about it's not just about ourselves this time. Uh, <laughs> yellow light. Do I do I pass or not? Come on, you're, you're just fucking with me with the yellow light. Maybe it's a metaphor. Maybe it's just a signifying that we are in a transitional period. Like a grown up growing up story. Ah, <sighs> we really gotta take it back to her. And I can only move left. This, this interaction is that asshole move. I don't want to. Mm, all the memories. Can I really go through with this? I don't know. Maybe this is the this decision that we're, we're trying to change. If this really is in the machine. I think we're bailing.
Why am I faceless now? I don't want to have to imagine if, like, if this is just partially true, what really happened. Oh no, our, our plane is taking damage. Mayday, mayday. We're, I'm, on a, I'm on a paper plane and it's getting chipped away by the lightning. Does anyone copy? My co-pilot has injury in his right arm, so I'm on my own here. And our dream has been shattered. Oh no. I'm being too dramatic. Bird is gonna magically heal and catch me before I. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Okay, here's my backpack. So was that my bird being carried away? Oh, I'm all alone now. Actually, I, I'm not all alone now. I am actually popular now. People are actually acknowledging my presence. Like, I can play with other people if I wanted to. Just want my bird now. Ah, oh, why does life have to be so sad? Okay, I actually I thought I was just gonna go check out up here. I didn't realize this actually gonna be stuff up here pretty cool or maybe this is the main where the main story is taking place
Hello me. Oh no, I have nothing to hide. This guy is not here. And the no pad. Oh, wait. He doesn't actually need me to push the button this time. And there's no more sign of uh, no pads allowed. That's not fair. I feel very targeted here. He's not here anymore. Just in case. We're not even pretending to be reading anymore. It's it does sound like a bird is at the window. Can fly now. Maybe he's got a girlfriend. Okay, we, we gotta take the bandage off.
What if I press left and down? I'm just gonna try it. Okay, nothing. And <laughs> there it is, a bird, a bird story. Once again, uh, this is a game by. Freebird Studios and uh, Freebird Games, directed by Ken Gao. And yeah, what a really short game too, but what a beautiful experience. You have to be impressed by the by these guys' abilities to tell a good story, and I've always had a lot of admiration for story stories that are told. Oh, she's well, she's uh, being his personal umbrella. But you, I've always uh, admired stories that are able to be told without resorting to dialogue. Not that there's anything wrong with dialogue. But the stories that are, uh, you, you, if you can tell it without a dialogue, that's always really impressive for me. Like the first 20 minutes of Wall Yi. So, yeah, I've always. Re I, there's this entire movie called The Red Turtle that's uh, told entirely without dialogue. And I'll. And I think that's re also really cool. But when it comes to this game, uh, it's on the RPG Maker engine. It's like the animation and all that stuff is already pretty limited. And now you've already you've also ditched the dialogue. So to be able to tell a story like this in the way that it w in the way that it did is really something. Okay, bird gone. Like the face of your life is gone, ready to move on. Oh. Okay. So I guess this really is leading up to finding paradise coming one day. Yes, I already come now. Come on now, I can get it right now and play it. Uh, and I'm gonna going to. That's the next playthrough. This is really short and sweet. So I'm guessing we're gonna be the next. The next client of uh, Ivan Neo is going to be this guy, who lived to a very old age, but is now reminiscing his childhood with his bird. And I just wonder how. Now that we are sure it's going to be the same person, I'm now wondering if you know how this particular story is going to be related with the story of finding finding paradise. No, we're gonna find out. But I don't know. Is he? Is this dying wish going to be be able to see the bird once again? Um, I guess that's a possibility. But I don't think so. I think we're just. This is just meant to be. I'm. If I'm guessing, and I'm just purely guessing, this is just going to be a little bit of introduction to the character, and his wish is probably going to be something entirely different. Because if he's just going to he if he just wants to see the bird again first of all if he's lived to that age that's just not realistic the bird would have died several times over oh that's a really dark thing to say but that's the truth and he also we also wouldn't really need to go through all these different phases of him 
just for him to meet the bird again at at the ripe old age. I mean, what's the point of that? He could we could reunite the bird in a fantasy land at any time, right? Um, also, I'm just really looking forward to if there is going to be some kind of explanation to some of the mysteries that have been left behind by all these previous games from to the moon to the Minnesota to this game especially in regards to like how exactly the machine works why does it create like dark versions of of the subject sometimes and what is going on with Eva and Nail there are some really foreboding mysteries left behind and I'm, I don't know if that's going to be answered in the next game. And I don't know if Finding Paradise is like going to be the last game in the whole series. I, I, don't, I don't know if they're making more. I hope so. Because these are really good. And yeah, that's uh, a bird story. Really liked it. And uh, Finding Paradise next. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for the next playthrough if you've enjoyed it thus far. And... Uh, have a nice day.